Hey friends, it's Brittany Lottie with Rosa May Creates. If you don't know much about me, I decided to learn the craft of screen printing back in 2020, and it was such a huge learning process. There were so many ups and downs to navigate to really understand the craft of screen printing. But now I'm here to share all that knowledge with you and help you learn to love screen printing just as much as I do. Whether you're a beginner or you're looking to refine your skills, my goal is to guide and support you every step of the way. So welcome to Rosa May Creates. Let's make some awesome prints together. Hey guys, I am so excited about what I'm going to share with you today. I just recently got the Green Galaxy Fusion water-based mixing system to be able to make all of the colors I would want with water-based ink. I also recently bought some Pantone color books so that I'm able to just find Whatever color I want, I go to a special website, put in the code, and it gives me a recipe to use all of this and to create that color of ink. So I'm gonna take you along with me from getting and unboxing the package, finding my PMS color, mixing it all together, printing with it, and then I will share my final thoughts with you. I ended up printing it on both this white shirt and I was curious about printing it on the dark shirt as well, even though technically you should have a white underbase. I wanted to see what it would turn out like. So join me as I give it all a try and I will share my conclusion at the end. I think that there's so many color variations you can do when printing shirts that just like add a little bit of uniqueness to, to what you have to offer. I'm really excited to pick my own different Pantone colors, um, to be able to look at a book, take the swatch, put it next to a shirt and find like the perfect color that will go with that shirt and be able to actually make my own colors. I'm just really excited about this. This kit came with the opaque core, stretch core, clear core, ruby, gold, black, red, green, white, violet, scarlet, yellow, pink, and blue. I'm taking my uncoated PMS color book and we can get close variants in a bluer tone or go over a couple and there's like a greener tone. And the choice is Pantone Color 6151U. And I'm gonna be printing it for the dark shirt I'm trying, the Bella Canvas 3001 CBC in Heather Deep Teal. All right, and now I'm gonna take you along with me on my computer as we get the recipe guide on how to make this color of ink. We're gonna head over to fusion.screenprinting.com, click Start Mixing, type in your formula, 6151, I went ahead and went with just 340 grams. I didn't want to make too much before I know how I like the color. I'm going to now print my formula on my label printer as you'll see in a little bit. All right, so if you look here, I have everything that the recipe lets me know I need. I have the clear core base, the opaque core base, then I have white, green, and black to mix in to make my color. I got a container to store my ink and to mix it all together. I have a gram scale and this gram scale, it's important that you get the right kind. If you look back at the recipe, it has the first number and then point and two more numbers and not all gram scales can go give you that correct number. They just wanna say one, two, three, four instead of 1.0 something or like that. I will link the one that I have here. I'll link all of this in the description if you're looking for these. I have the t-shirt that I wanna print this color on. It is the Bella Canvas 3001 Heather Deep Teal. And again, I am printing Pantone color 6151 and I took it out of the uncoated Pantone book, which I have right here. Let's get started with mixing. We'll turn on our scale, add this zero out and we're gonna start measuring. So it says that we're gonna need 148.07 of the clear core base. We will call 
all that good. I went ahead and wiped this clean. I'm gonna zero out my scale. And we're gonna need the same amount in the opaque core base. That is, wow, on the dot. Now that is difficult. Go ahead and zero it out. And we're gonna do 2.86 grams of green. Then we're gonna go 1.5 of black. Someone told me that they recommend to do half the amount of black. So I'm gonna try that first, see how it looks and see if I should finish the full amount. So I'm gonna go 0.75 black. And then we're gonna go 39.47 of white. Yeah, a little bit over, that's okay. All right, start mixing. I think the half black is a good recommendation. So now I did 6151. Just want to show. If you look, that's like pretty crazy close. Like they are extremely, it's almost totally accurate. I could monkey with a little bit, but I think I'm happy with the color. So I'm going to save this recipe. Note that I did half the black. Um, and I actually printed the recipe on a label printer, so now I can just take this and go ahead and stick it right onto my container of ink. And if I ever want to switch the colors in there, it's fine. I can just put a new sticker right over it. But now, if I want to refill this, I'll have the recipe right on here. Let's give it a print. So as you can see, the, the color on the white shirt is what has my heart. I love how vibrant it is. Um, it worked on the dark shirt, but in all reality, if you're following the rules, um, if you're going to print a color like that on a dark shirt like this, you really should have a white underbase before. So you do the white underbase and then print this color on top of the white underbase so it can be a little more vibrant. Whereas on this, um, you can see the dark color of the shirt is kind of seeping through in a way um, because it should have that underbase. But I like to try things to see if you can break the rules a little bit. And I'm not saying it doesn't work. Um, it's just, it's not my favorite. I could see maybe liking it if the design was really Thin, maybe like some thin florally design or something like that. I might like that look. It's almost a distressed look, to be honest. Um, next, I think I would try doing this color on the dusty blue color shirt and just see like if how it looks on lighter color shirts. I think that would work really well. I also have plans of trying maybe a rusty color ink and a green, like green color on like natural and cream colored shirts. Lots of plans. I'll take you along with me as I try out different recipes on different color shirts and I will show with you how it goes. As for right now, I probably won't be doing a lot of colors on dark shirts just because I have a one color press 
and for me that works really well. I am really happy with my one color press. I don't have plans in my near future to get a multicolor press just because I feel like I'm doing well with what I have and it works for my space. Uh, but you never know what the future holds. But thank you for coming along with me as I tried this out. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to try out more. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow along for all things screen printing. Thanks so much. Bye!